welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if it's your first time here. My name is Holly, and if you've been following along with the build that I'm doing um, in the master bedroom in my house, um, you're going to have to wait a little while for another one of those videos. And today I've decided to take a break. I'm going to go for my first hike of the season. Uh, it's going to be just a little short one because I'm trying out a uh, a new pair of boots and I picked up some socks as well. These are Aspen Merino. I um I have little socks. These are ones that I knit, but I thought I'd try some that have a cushioned foot. So this is going to just be a short little hike. Uh, I'm at Pitcher Mountain. There's a fire tower up here. So I thought maybe I'd start doing the uh, New Hampshire fire tower series. wear leather boots. So this is the first time I've gotten synthetics. I do have my these with me if uh, these end up bothering my feet too much on the first hike. Because I'm actually going to try to do two fire towers today. Uh, this one, Pitcher Mountain, and uh, Kearsage. It's also been bothering me for a few weeks now. I get all tangled up in the dog's lines when my neighbor's idiot dogs were in my yard when I went outside with my dogs on the leash. Because, you know, despite a leash law, my neighbors refused to keep their dogs controlled. Even worse, the little one bites me all the time. truck. It's windy, but it's like 48, 49 degrees. Uh, it was supposed to be cloudy, and as you can see, it's actually quite sunny. Okay, so I have my little knockoff action camera on my chest. Let's see how that works. I don't know which way I should go here.
So I had planned to eat my lunch up here. Um, I went to work and then planned to leave work early. So I took my normal lunch, which is like half a ham and cheese sandwich and some chips. But after I left work, a little bit later than I wanted to, um, I then stopped at a couple places looking for some socks just to pick up for today. So I already, already ate my lunch. Quite a nice view. I'm not even to the top yet. Big old ugly tree there. Pretty cool looking. Looks like something out of Ichabod Crane. Great. Hey there, how are you doing today? It's a little breezy out there. Yeah. It is. I was oh, I was actually gonna ask you if I could launch a drone, but I don't want to with this wind. No. No, no. no it'll go all over the place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you'd be looking for a new one. 
<laughs> it's amazing how it has a light changes what you can see. And what I bet. Can. I bet. This is just gorgeous. Yeah, it's kind of nice. <laughs> Man, that's really windy. Yeah, I can't imagine what it's like if it's really bad yeah. up here. <laughs> I, I, I look over here, you know, what water's sitting in it. And that's bad for the shade. <laughs> well, Actually, it was uh, it's probably a little more now. It was about 23 when I checked it. Uh -huh. It's probably, I'm, I'm guessing, 25 miles an hour. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it gets up around 45, 50. Because the tower's cabled, so it, you know, it can't really shake, but it just... Yeah, shivers, shivers yeah. Yeah, I, I kind of like being here. Oh, I would too. I would love this. I mean, just it's so, you know, peaceful. Well, it <laughs> yeah, and it changes. I saw it when I first, my ranger, um, it's, a, it's a sweet job. So we worked for the forest rangers. And uh, the forest ranger who had it at the time was a good friend of mine, and uh, the girl that was running this full time was um, getting married, so she was going to be gone for a week on a honeymoon, and he said, would you uh, build a tower for me? I said, I'll give it a try, Bob, but I said, it's got to be like watching paint dry. I, said, I don't know. <laughs> and, and then, uh, you know, after the first day, it was kind of like, wow, this isn't bad at all. Yeah. Because you get up here and get the radio on, you call the dispatches and let them know you're here. And then, like today, we've got an aircraft we were watching for. Yeah. Well, it just come up the stairs, I saw a hawk oh, yeah. spiraling around. I could watch those all day long. The wildlife. Yeah. You know, I see. Uh, last Friday, it was up here. There were three turkey vultures. Came oh, right really? Oh, by yeah. The tower, wow. And there was, a, there had to be at least four kestrels out there. Uh-huh. And they did something I'd never seen before. It was pretty good wind like this. They fly into the wind and then stop and flutter their wings hard, just like they were standing still. You know, they didn't move. They yeah. They stayed right in one spot. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. I've seen the eagle. Well, I guess I'll get back down and yeah. go around. Yeah, okay. you run over the campsite. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and I'm sorry, my name is Holly, by the way. I'm Tom. Hi, nice to meet you, Tom, and have a wonderful rest of the day up here. Whenever you see, you know, a lot of fire stations have uh, fire danger signs outside, smoking air signs. Then somebody will be in the towers? When it says three or, three or above. Oh, good. So yeah, find. good to know. Yeah. All right. Well, you have a great day. You too. Stay tied down here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah.
These are all blueberry bushes. Apparently, like, this is one of the best places to pick blueberries. Imagine with this granite walking on. This is pretty treacherous in the spring with ice. Well, sorry for the really abrupt ending uh, to that recording, but my little uh, GoPro knockoff battery ran out. It still did pretty good. I mean, it ran for like 56 minutes. <clears throat> so, and I have a second battery, but I wanted to use that on my second hike of the day, which was uh, Kirasage Mountain. So, first of all, um, it's the first time I've tried to use that camera just like strapped to my um my chest strap on my backpack so it wasn't actually on a chest mount <clears throat> because I didn't want to have to wear that as well and I don't think it did too terribly bad it seems you watching the video it probably seems a bit jerky because I'm like doing two seconds and then cutting a bunch of time and then two seconds and cutting a bunch of time so um, it does probably seem a little bit jerkier that way than just actually watching it all but you don't want to watch you know an hour long video or more than an hour because I also filmed with my phone as well um, so anyway I think it did pretty good I might need to make a few little adjustments but I'll work on that um, you know I don't typically film um, or create YouTube videos of my my hikes or my camping or any of that stuff van life stuff any of that because I want to just enjoy it I just want to be in the moment and enjoy it <clears throat> and filming just really really just detract from that um, but I thought I'd try it and see how it went um, it, it wasn't too bad because I didn't actually do a lot of I didn't do anything fancy like I didn't do any walkbacks you know like you see all these youtubers that put the camera somewhere and then they walk towards it and then they you know or put the camera behind him and then walk away from it and then they have to run back and go get the camera. I can't be bothered with all of that. I just want to enjoy what I'm doing and not have to worry about focusing on what I'm filming for content and all that. So there's no B-roll stuff, no walkbacks, no nothing like that. It's just raw, whatever. Um, and I don't mind doing that. It does take a lot more. It does take a lot, just as much editing because I've got so much video and I have to cut so much out. But but uh, that's no big deal. I can just do that when I get around to it. Um, that being said, I did do two hikes that day. I did uh, Pitcher Mountain, which was great. I spent like probably 30 minutes at the top of the tower talking to Tom, the, the fire uh, forest, uh, forest ranger guy up there. Uh, that was wonderful, just chatting with him. Um, I really enjoyed that. That was probably the, my favorite part of the hike, actually. Um, so you'll see some footage of that and, um, or you've already seen some footage of that. And then my second hike was Mount Kirasaj. That was a bit more challenging <laughs> and, uh, I hope to have that video posted in a couple days. Um, I can't think of anything else. So I'm just going to close this video out and get it posted today. Uh, I'm at work right now. I'm just out in my truck taking a break and filming this real quick and I'll put this in and get the editing finished and upload it so uh try i'm gonna try to have the kirasaj um hike video posted on wednesday so two days from now so watch for that thanks very much for watching and have a great day